May you find happiness and peace. And may your home stand the test of time. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be reacting to Charlie Keck, Humiliate Triggered Radical Leftist Student. So without further ado, let's get started. What is a woman? What is a, that's a stupid question, dude. That's a dumb question. What is a woman? It's not a trick question. What is a woman? You can't answer the question with the question. Yeah, define the woman without saying woman. You're in college, paying for an education. What is a woman? How about you talk to someone with media training? Not, how about you talk to someone? You don't need media training. It's not a trick. What is a woman? You can't answer the question with the. It's the college kids of America going hundreds of thousands of dollars into debt who think it's a trick question when you ask them what a woman is. Believe in reparations okay. for people that are so in a I, white man, have to play for black people. Why? Wow, that's a really selfish thing you no, no, just hold, said. Hold on, why should that's I have... That's a really non-empathetic thing to wait, say. Wait, why should I have empathy for a race? People. I'm not saying for you... Why should the white students here have to work harder to pay for black kids? What is that all about? That's not racist, that's noticing. How is it the white man's fault that black men started to abandon the women? It's a bigger problem. No, blacks need to take responsibility for the women that they impregnate, not blame the white man for racism. Things affect this. Why, why didn't it, why didn't did it affect the Asians? It why, why did the Asians do so well? America got less racist and the blacks got poorer because we started to subsidize single motherhood and pandering to blacks saying, yes. you do not need to stay around if with the women pandering. who are pregnant. So you feel like us as a society has pandered? Of, of course we've pandered to blacks. They're in every TV commercial. They get, they get more privileges to come into society. They come into every college on preferential with lower test scores. You can't ever say anything negative. You can lose your job. You have your entire life obliterated if you say something racist. And yet we have to have care about how racist we are. How about you take responsibility for your own actions instead of blaming the white man? I, I have to say, sir, you are a very good soft debater. Thank you. Like we that? do not like debate this. fascists! We do not identify as trans women. Small face fascists! Small face fascists! Why is that valid? How am I a fascist? Small face fascists! Do you want to talk? Mark, 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 that's right. Um, so I would just say, oh. I think. <laughs> anyway, these students, they, they came prepared. I don't think they want Charlie to say anything. Anyway, this this is this is actually um, the hit that debate. And I feel like everyone was just there to air their view, you know. Uh, I feel he asked them the most simplest question, you know, who is a woman? And I feel when you want to define something, you don't define that thing with a with a with a name or with a title. You know, you don't define a woman with a woman. You define a woman with, you know, what a woman like the characteristic of a woman. People don't want to answer that question because they feel like if they answer the question as someone as a as a, a person with the S chromosome, then Charlie will come back for them and start asking the, the why why do we have trans women? Because if you don't have the X X S chromosome, then I don't think you are qualified to be a woman. Anyway, that is that is my own opinion, though. But I think that is that is if like um, if you are thinking correctly, that is who a woman is. A woman is someone with the X S chromosome, and I think that is what they are trying to avoid. They don't want to answer the question that way, or they want to answer the question in a way that will suit everyone, even the trans, the, the, the regular woman, and all. They want to, and I I feel. That is what that is a trap Charlie is trying to get them into, and they are trying to avoid it. Anyway, there's a brief one, and aside from that, the guy that came in next that was talking about the racism, how the you know the whites have been you know racist to the black. I feel like, yeah, what Charlie is saying, I, I get his point, okay. And I'm not saying America is completely a non-racist country, but if you check statistics based on now and then, I think they are doing a good job because almost all the TV series I've seen. There must be a black guy. Aside from a black guy, there must be an, maybe a guy from Asia or somewhere. But they, they, they try to blend everyone, you know. They try to flow with everyone. 
even now they bring you know gay lesbian into their movie just to make sure that they are in support of everyone you know they are not discriminating anyone and i think um, it's a good way to start too because i if, if if we go back to how you know the black force was where so if we go back to how the, we were before you know the black force how we struggle how we try to to gain the spotlight you see that yes we've come a, a long way so now that we have more things to worry about on like the black the white the what's it called the asian and all i feel now we are having different things like um trans and all so the thing is we've struggled to gain recognition for for the world to hear our voice and i think that is what is trans are struggling to gain too and well i'm 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 not in any way supporting them, neither am I in any way discriminating them. I'm I'm not in support of the ideology, but if they choose, if they feel that is the best way for them, I, I'm not stopping anyone, you know, because whoever I choose to be with is my own personal decision and no one is, you know, forcing it on me. So they are free to do whatever they want to do. But it's it's all it's 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 all boiled down to what is right and what is wrong. To me, I feel what they're doing is not right, but that is my own opinion. But Everyone can, you know, decide for themselves. But I feel Charlie tried his best to explain this, you know, by asking them that sensitive question, who is a woman? And aside from that, he, he made mention of what Americans have, have tried to do to make sure that everyone see each other as equal, you know, how they try to subsidize um, things for the black, how they try to reduce, you know, the grading system for the black, how they try to, like, subsidize their fees and all, just to make sure that, they, they are motivated to go to school because the more they go to school, the lesser, you know, the crime rates from black folks. And I think they are doing a good job anyway. They are doing a very, very good job because they are trying their best to make sure that everyone, you know, so long as you are in the soil of America, you are being seen equally. And aside from America, I love the way um, sports are, are, you know, doing this too. If you, if you watch football, you see that they are... They are now introducing blacks into footballs, and aside from that, they are they, like they buy player from everywhere in the world. They they don't just limit it to okay, I'm buying player from um the United States. Let's say we we'll get a club in the United States. They don't buy player from the United States, or if we get a club that is in let's say Paris, um just like Paris and Germain, you see they buy players from Brazil, they buy players from Africa, they buy players from everywhere just to make it uniform you know so long as you can do the, you can play the game and you're good at it they are willing to buy you and they don't discriminate or make you feel like because you are from this continent your price needs to be this low the thing is that they, they pay based on the the, the 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 what's it called what you bring on board and that is that is it racism is dying every day in the world and aside from united states racism is dying every day in the world like i want to go out and see a, a white man and you know be happy to see him and i i, I see i i just enjoy how okay most, most of the time i enjoy the comments i get you know like before when you post a video and someone here you ask them they feel like what are you saying and this is this, this. but now people are, are trying to listen you know pay attention because i feel the more you pay attention the more you get what i'm saying and oh this is a beautiful one i want to see more videos like this if you have any recommendation let me know in the comment section it is the first time visiting the channel click on the subscribe button thanks for watching and remember bless.